Vaqueria in Valladolid, Mexico. Valladolid is the second largest city in Yucatan, has just over 80,000 people. And I was fortunate enough to get to witness La Vaqueria, which is a dance, a traditional dance that is of Mayan origin, that they perform, both men and women, and they're both dressed in white. I had just gotten back from visiting several of the cenotes that surround Valladolid and had a wonderful time. I did it all on bike, on a bicycle, with a backpack. So when I got back, I was, you know, I was pretty tired. But I heard some kind of commotion going on in the Central Park, uh, Francisco Canton, I think it's called. And I noticed that these people were dancing. They're all dressed in white. And there was a little bit of music going on. And I just so happened to find a spot literally right in front of where the people were dancing. I mean, it couldn't have been a better location. So I sat myself down on a park bench like Forrest Gump and uh, took out my camera gear and just recorded these people dancing and doing their traditional thing. And the women are dressed, like I said, in white, as are the men. And they wear what are called, I'm going to look at my little notes here, they wear what are called a hubon, which is the top part, a hipil, which is the middle section, and a fustan. I don't know what all that means, but that's what it's called. The entire thing is called a terno. That's what the women dress up in. And the biggest thing that you'll notice is that everything is embroidered with flowers, and it's beautiful. Beautiful embroidered flowers. And they all dress the same. The men, on the other hand, they're also all dressed in white. They wear what is a white shirt, basically a guayabera, like from Cuba. In fact, it originated in Cuba and was brought over to Mexico. They wear a sombrero called a hippie, kind of like a hippie, right? Like a hippie dude. And they wear chionas, which are like sandals or chanclas or huaraches. They wear those on their feet. They're open. You can see their toes. <laughs> That's what they wear. That is the traditional wear for the men or the traditional outfit. They also have a pañuelo or like a handkerchief called a paliacate. And they wear that in their, uh, like their waistband and just kind of let it go to the knee or halfway down to the knee. And it's always red, always red, kind of like a matador, right? <laughs> so they do this dance. And the thing that interested me the most about this dance, I had no idea, was that the women will take a tray, and the men too, I believe. The women will take a tray of beer, like bottles of beer, like six or seven, in a, in a, in a charola, like a tray. And they will put it on their head, full with beer, right? It's not fake or anything like that. It's beer. And they will do the dance, and they will dance around with the men and the women, and they will try, of course, not to spill any. And you will see that they do. Occasionally, it spills, or it goes on their face, or I even saw one time where the bottle fell, and it smashed on the ground and broke. But they kept on going with the show. They didn't let it bother them. Uh, it was great. It was, it was wonderful. And there was one boy in particular, and I say boy because I'm thinking he must have been 13, maybe 14 years old at the most. I don't know. You can judge yourself by the video. And you can see him with just one beer, with no tray. They also do that. They take just one beer, a bottle, put it on their head, and dance around. And uh, it's an amazing show. So if you get a chance to go to Valladolid, it is exactly right in the middle. When I say exactly, I'm talking about one kilometer off, OK? It is right in the middle between Cancun and Merida, the capital of Yucatan. So it's about two hours away from either city, and it's only 26 miles from Chichen Itza. So if you want to see the world famous Mayan pyramid, definitely take the time to go see Valladolid and maybe stay there for a couple days. I know now it's not really safe to travel. I wouldn't recommend it perhaps right at this moment, but as soon as that changes, definitely, you know, if you come to Mexico, think of visiting Valladolid and don't just go to Cancun or don't just go to Chichen Itza. It's not that far from there. Also, about 65 miles away is Rio Lagartos, which is pink water, like literally pink, not Photoshop pink, real pink. That's another very popular Instagrammable uh, place to take pictures and see this amazing body of water that is pink because of the salt and the microorganisms that have, are in the water. So that's it for Valladolid. The cenotes, I will just tell you, are excellent. There's several of them to visit. Uh, I'll list off a few right now. The number one is Suitun, in my opinion. That's the one with the man-made pedestal and then the, the light shining through. I'm talking about like for pictures and stuff like that. Uh, another one is called Selva Maya. That one's great because you can dive off and jump in the water. 
they want you to wear a life vest, so wear a life vest. Uh, the cenote zasi, or zasi, I think you pronounce it, it is right in the center. These are all Mayan words, so sometimes they're hard to pronounce. Uh, and then there's another one where you get like a, like a two for Tuesday, right? Except it, well, for me it was the weekend. And it's called Exkeken and Samula. They are right next to each other. So the admission price includes your entrance to both cenotes. And those are cool as well. The only downside of visiting the most popular one, which is the Suitun, is that there's a lot of tour buses. And so when it's loaded with tourists, they all have their orange jackets on, you know, the life vests. And it makes it very hard to take a, take a good photo on the pedestal. They also do a Mayan, a fake Mayan, you know, not fake, but I mean, it's obviously it's, you know, just people with costume, makeup, whatever. They also do a show with smoke and guys banging drums and stuff like that. A little touristy, if you ask me. In any event, once the tour bus leaves, the people doing the, the ritual, the Mayan ritual dance leave, and you can get the pedestal to yourself and have someone take a nice photograph of you or you, you and your loved one would make a terrific picture for people that are married or couples or dating or whatever. So that's it for Valladolid, and I'm signing off from Merida. Thank you so much for watching the video. Take care. Bye-bye. I arrived at the place that rents the bikes. It's called Mexico. Mexico is uh, the best way, although it's about to rain, but fuck it. I'm getting on a bike like I was 12 years old.